Let's just get into it. What is happening guys? So yes, today is a very exciting video. So as you've seen from the previous ones, like up in the cards there, I did one about the power supply and there was also one about the gaming desk, which is also something new to my system. I thought I would upgrade to a monitor. So the monitor I'm running, which is behind this, which I've always been using, which you'll see in my videos, is a Acer 24 inch, I believe. And it's only 75 Hertz screen. So when it comes to gaming and editing, it's, it's not the best. So I wanted something that wasn't too strong, but something that was too weak, but I wanted quite a big screen as well. So I went for the Nitro ED series from Acer. So this is a 32 FHD monitor. It's 165 Hertz. It's curved 16 by nine screen. So yeah, it's also got an ergo stand. So it means it's not height adjustable, but it does rotate very slightly going back and it's got a, a, a variation of tilt on it as well. So it is a gaming monitor. So preferably when I'm doing my gaming on the small screen, the 24 inch, it really wasn't, it wasn't working for me. And yeah, so this is a full HD, uh, full HD. So it is a 1920 by 1080. And it also comes equipped with uh, AMD Radeon FreeSync as well as. So what we're gonna be doing is unboxing this and getting it all set up and basically making my system 20 times better. So let's just start getting into it. Why don't we just get out of the box and see what we'll work on. So let's see what we'll start with first of all. So you've got your mounting brackets. So it is a V bracket as well. It comes from directly from the bottom of the case. So you do have a uh, solid steel arms. I think they're steel or the alloy. No, the aluminium, aluminium and the top part is steel. So that's going to come in quite nicely as well. So it's going to be quite a hidden stand, but it's also going to be quite nice. One. So normally with um, other ones, you get your generic three pin, but with this one, you actually get a very small power supply. But yeah, it's a little bit different compared to what other monitors are used to. So obviously from Acer, you get this kind of adapter as well that comes with it, which isn't an issue. And to the best part. Polystyrene, no, I'm only joking. It's just polystyrene, nothing exciting about it. So it comes with some cables. So you get your basic user manual, which nobody actually reads. They just get it in the box. Um, yeah, I don't think actually anybody actually ever reads them. And um, we have... We have HDMI 2.1 port, which is quite handy, that comes with it. And you also get the display one as well. So the display one is what I'll be using, because I'm going to be using that at full 165 hertz. So that's what we're going to be using. So I'll drop this down here and then get it out of the box. So like I said, it is a curved display as well, which is nice because the one I'm currently running on isn't a curved. So it'll be a nice little treat. God, that is a big monitor. I don't think I really thought this through. So I'll pop that on the side there, get rid of the bagging. So there we have it guys. So it's a 31.5 inch screen. It's roughly about 80 centimeters. Uh, like I said, is AMD Radeon FreeSync as well as, which is also a great perk. So the difference between the one I'm currently running on is one the size plus the one I am running on is 75 Hertz and I can adequate this one up to 165, which is also a great idea. So we'll have a look at some of the ports and some of the other areas and We'll go from there. So yes, as I did say, this is a curved monitor as well. 16 by nine is a 1920 by 1080p monitor as well. You've got the mountain hardware, which is in the center there, but there's also a backing plate to cover that up. So you won't be able to see it from behind. Uh, some of the ports we have from the bottom end, if I can lie down without breaking it. So we have two HDMI ports. We have got one display port, one headphone jack, and then just your generic um, power supply as well but as I said the power supply for this one differs from the other monitors that are out there at the moment so that is another good point so what we're going to do is get the uh, mountain hardware on knock on the desk and then we're going to go through some of the phases of how to get it registered to actually work with 65 Hertz so you will need a screwdriver just not one this long so I'm going to pop all the mountain I'm going to pop the mountain hardware in and I'll be back in a second but for one thing guys, so I did notice on some of the comments from when I did uh, the PC build, a lot of you guys were asking me that you're running 75 hertz, 144 hertz monitors, but your computer's not actually registering it, you know, it's not actually running on 175 hertz, uh, or 75 hertz, or whatever you want it to run at. I'm actually going to be showing you that today also, because when you first generically 
Um, sometimes when you plug in your uh, monitor for the first time, if it's a brand new monitor, sometimes it doesn't actually register what Hertz it actually is. So when I first plugged in the original monitor, um, it was only reading 60 Hertz when its actual availability is 75. So we're actually gonna be showing you that today, how to check what yours is actually reading. And it's really simple. It'll take you roughly about five minutes. And it, it really is, it's a good little thing to have. You know, it, it does, it lets you find out what you're actually supposed to be running at. So, just gonna pop the rest of this in now and then we will get it hooked up and see what we are working with. And then you also get a little backing plate which goes onto the back and it covers up all the mounting hardware. And it just clicks in like that. You also do have four mounting holes on the back. So if you want to either mount this on the wall or if you want to mount it on a duo uh, computer stand and then that sort of stuff. But like I said, if you can see the movement there, that's, that's the quality of the movement. You don't have any adjustment for side to side or even swivel. And you already see from there, that is, it, it is an extremely big monitor. So what I'm going to do is get this plugged in. So like I said, I'm going to be using the display port and we're going to go from there. So, so there we have it guys. So we've got the monitor all linked up and yes, this is the main page of my YouTube channel. So if you don't mind, do hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. So I'm just going to tilt this back a bit just so we can see what we're looking at. And we're pretty much going to tell you basically how to make sure it's registered for 65 Hertz. So when you go to your main screen, pop down to display settings. Uh, when you go from there, what it'll do is it'll take you to this monitor here. So I've got two monitors hooked up at the moment, so it's going to kind of justify which one's your main interior monitor to start off with. If you go to advanced display settings, and then over in the top left hand corner, pick the monitor you want to choose. So I want to choose the one I'm working with now, which is the ED320QR, and that's the monitor which is the 31.5. From there, go down the display adapter properties, and then click onto monitor. On the monitor, it will tell you the screen refresh rate. I know you can't see it very well just fully at the moment, but you, I will get some close-ups of this. And from the drop-down menu, you have everything from 50 hertz all the way up to 165 hertz. So whatever you want your monitor to be running at, that is what you will be choosing. So I want 165, I'll apply that and press OK. If you've got dual monitors, click over to the other monitor, which is the VG270, pop over to display adapter and back to monitor and you can also check the, uh, click the hertz for that. So as you can see, mine goes to a max of 75 hertz and that's what I'm gonna keep it at. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that in the background just so you can see how, how amazing the actual picture quality on this is anyways. Just thought I'd show you my dog first of all before we get into actually seeing what the monitor looks like. You haven't been on the YouTube channel for a while, have you? You just wanted to say hi, didn't you? You gonna go over there? So there you have it guys, there is another addition to the JTT um, setup and we have another monitor. So now it looks a little bit weird at start off with that we have a 32 and I think it's a 24 inch I believe so I'm not, I think it might be a 24 inch but like I said just from them clips there you could see immediately the difference between gaming in 75 hertz and gaming in 165 hertz. It really does make a huge difference. Now there is another one on its way that I actually haven't purchased myself. We will eventually be running on dual 32 monitors, which will be phenomenal. So now being able to game on a 32 inch monitor really is great because you get a bigger aperture. The curved display when you directly sat in front of it really does make a difference. Um, but there really isn't a lot more to say about this monitor. It really is phenomenal. You know, the 1920 by 1080p is great. Uh, running at 165 hertz. I've shown you guys how to uh, utilize that and actually tally it up or down depending on what you want your computer to run at or what you want your monitor to run at and that is pretty much it guys there is another part of the JTT channel now I wonder what's gonna come next <laughs> but anyways guys if you did enjoy this video please do smash that like button I really do appreciate it and some of the love I've been getting on some of my videos so I just want to thank you all out there for everything you're doing by helping me run this channel and if you enjoyed the video, make sure you do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any further videos and any tips. And like I said, guys, if there's anything you want me to review, just drop down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to try and get them for you and review it for you guys. At the end of the day, guys, that was the video. And that was the Acer 32-inch monitor. I'm out.